Hi everybody, just a super quick video to help um, people who, when you come to record video using um, uh, GeForce Now Experience or um, Shadowplay it used to be called, you end up with videos like this. So let's say you're trying to record your desktop and you end up with your desktop in the top left hand corner and this big gap around it. Maybe this happens when you're um, playing uh, a, a game and you record the game you want to flick back to the desktop or it could be you, the game records like this now obviously it's a resolution problem the fact that in this particular case um, we, we know the desktop's 1920 um, and it's obviously recording 1440 and like well wait a minute I've told it to record at 1920 why is it why is it put in this gap round why is it adding this extra bit in and the answer to this is in your settings so if you go into, go into your settings on your computer um, you can search uh, in fact, it's probably better if I do it this way if you do a search for settings and then you bring up this screen then go into the system and then go into the display then go into advanced display settings here so what you'll see is that here under desktop resolution and active signal resolution there will be a difference and so in my case when I was getting the problem the desktop resolution would be 1920 or by 1080 and the active signal resolution would be 1440 and in fact if I press the function buttons on my monitor that would say it was in 1440 mode and I was like well wait a minute the the, the Windows should be outputting in 90, in 1080. The games I've ch adjusted to do 1080. And if you're wondering, well, why do you do it instead of 1440? It's for recording videos for YouTube. Um, because I do a lot of screencasts. The writing's too small if I do it at 1440p. So I like to record for YouTube at, at 1080p. So the question is, you know, how do you get it so that these two things match? Because that was the problem. GeForce Experience was seeing the active se signal resolution at 1440p and then adding that had to add that bar around the desktop. Um, and the way that you do that is you look at your display adapter properties. You click in here and you click in list all modes here. And it's probably set correctly. It'll probably be set to like 1920 by 1080 or 2560 by 1440. And all you do is you just choose, go down to say 1280 by 720 and say OK and apply it. And, so, and it'll say keep these changes and say yes and your desktop will you know, your screen will look a bit funky then go back into it and change it back to say 1920 by 1080 or 2560 by 1440 whichever one you want to use and what you'll then find is the active signal resolution will now match your desktop resolution so that when you go to record things using uh, GeForce Experience or you know GeForce Now they will record properly at full screen and when you switch back between games and desktop it will go at full screen now what might happen is that if you're changing your monitor back up to 1440p for example or if you're using multiple displays you may have to come in and check this and change it uh, periodically but it's very easy to do so there you go so you're in advanced display settings display adapter prop properties list all modes change it to a lower setting like a 720 and then change it back and that should help to match your uh, active signal resolution to your desktop resolution which means you get rid of that black border right hopefully you found that useful if you have it like once you more same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon